What is going on ladies and gentle folks? So I have a quick update video for you guys and hopefully it should be short. So when I tell you like I'm not at my wits, I, I'm pretty damn close to my wits end with Sapphire here. So uh, I will I will give you the rundown on everything we got going on here. Uh, I did, uh, just, to, just to let you guys know, I did film two that's two back-to-back -back videos about this car and um i was gonna i was i filmed you know like what i thought was gonna be the solution for all my smoking issues but i'm here to tell you it is not that is not the case so uh let me get out of this way here so uh maybe you guys can help me out because i'm at almost by my wits end here so I'm gonna just go down and I'm gonna show you exactly like what I did. So whenever I uh, whenever I swapped this engine, I honestly thought that it was it was possibly the PCV or something like that. Uh, so I, I thought it could have been the turbo, so I, I didn't know exactly what was going on. So things that I did replace trying to chase down this smoking issue. So I replaced the turbo, well, had the turbo rebuilt. So I didn't replace the turbo, had the turbo rebuilt uh i put a fresh uh, you know jdm depot or like wherever you want to get your your engines it's a uh, air trek rvr engine in here uh you know it's the same exact thing as a uh you know 4g 63 uh t you know out of an air trek you know the only things the only things that i actually swapped out of this was the camshafts and the uh the valve cover the valve cover i thought was the issue because i i you know like i said before i i did have issues with this uh you know with this engine so i thought it it, it attributed to something with the valve cover or the pcv valve itself so i uh, i switched out to this uh rvr uh or air track uh valve cover and i powder coated it everything was good solid uh and then you know maybe a, a day or two later or so like i hadn't you know touched the car or actually it, it was a little bit before i actually touched the car and uh and then i i came out and you know it started smoking again so i don't exactly know what's going on so uh if you guys maybe you guys could help me out here because i i'm like at a loss for words uh I, I can't imagine two different engines having the same exact smoking issue uh the only things that i actually kept from the actual uh the older engine was uh the turbo which like i said before i had rebuilt the intake manifold exhaust manifold and that's really it everything else on the ins insides i did not touch uh i so i don't know exactly what's going on here but uh i think what i'm gonna try to do next my next thing is try to see if uh i'm gonna take the uh the exhaust off or at least the downpipe Ex uh, you know i'll leave the rest of the exhaust the way it is take off the downpipe and see if it smokes from the turbo side and see if it's something before so i got a couple uh I want to call it suggestions on what it could possibly be and somebody told me if i had when i tell you the turbo was like spewing oil out the back end i remember uh you know doing a video about this but there were some people that said that possibly possibly that the uh the the muffler itself could still have oil residuals inside the uh inside the muffler packing so if you guys don't know mufflers have like you know like to make them kind of silent ish uh they have packing inside like it's almost like fiberglass or something like that to actually quiet it down just a little bit so it's like it is a straight through but it is muffled just a little bit uh he said that it could be oil that could be stuck in there that could be like just spewing oil you know what i mean like it could be just burning off little by little so what i'm gonna do is take the downpipe off and see if it uh if if it actually uh does that but other than that i really don't have too much going on with this car like i said before i really like the, the point of this was to kind of drive it that was the point of it when i first started doing it but now that i'm uh this far in and you know 
I, I, you know, I want to really do something with it, but I don't know exactly what to do. So I'm at almost my wits end with it. So I'm going to try a couple more small things, but I'm going to set this over to the side for now, for now, uh, mainly because I really want to work on, sa uh, like I, I really, I really want to get Sapphire done, but I want to work on Ivy. So Ivy is one of, uh, if you guys know, Ivy is my, my, uh, you know, built 2.3 liter stroker, uh, Evo 8, uh, and it's got a 6262 from AMS. So it's got a, it's got a bunch of good parts on it, but I have an oil leak, uh, coming down from the turbo and it meets at the, what do you want to call that? The oil pan. That's where it's, it's always leaked at that AN fitting. So I'm going to just get rid of all those AN fittings altogether. And I'm going to just do like a push style fitting, uh, at the turbo and a push dial fitting at the oil pan and hopefully fingers crossed hopefully like it'll actually seal this time uh, the next thing I got to do is I'm going to be replacing the clutch that's going to be going in the car because I think the clutch is kind of hold not holding me back but it's it's a weird clutch it's a competition single disc uh, six puck sprung which is uh which is a lot it's a handful but uh it's a good clutch but i i don't know why for some reason after i got my uh you know car tuned it just it didn't feel the same something something is off or whatever the case is and then while i'm doing that i need to actually uh take apart my transmission case so the housing on the transmission is fine but for some reason it's just not sealing so around the uh the bell housing so i'll show you here on this car so around this bell housing here where it meets the trans uh the bell housing to the actual transmission uh it, it's leaking there so i'm not exactly sure why it's leaking there but uh it, it's been leaking there for a very very long time so i bought all new seals that goes from the uh the the transfer case to the transmission uh, i bought two new uh you know uh axle seals for it i bought everything brand new because like i i just don't want to mess around with it too much if i'm gonna have it out clean it up and do all that jazz i might as well just take it and uh and just do everything that i need to do so that it won't leak so fingers crossed everything will go to plan but that'll that'll take up a couple videos so i can actually start driving that car again the reason why i don't do or drive that car at all is mainly because uh it's always like kind of leaking so i think all the fluid is finally like leaked out and i think that it's all all gone but like i said before um at the beginning of this video i did a couple videos on this car which you will see coming up next uh mainly interior stuff i did all like i swapped over all the interior cleaned up the everything like that i took the tin off uh so all that stuff is has already been loaded on youtube uh but i i just wanted to make this update video because it, it is something that's really been frustrating me uh left and right so whenever i get done with this car it's probably just going to be shipped out to whoever wants it to be honest with you uh so i definitely wanted to do something crazy with it like driving it around like who who wouldn't want uh an electric blue evo you know what i mean like driving around so i don't really see them I don't really see any Evos, actually. Uh, my boy Norbert has a yellow one. I have a white one. Uh, there is a black one that, that lives around here, Evo 8. Uh, and then there's like this mysterious Evo 9 that this kid's got that I never see. So I don't know, there's, there's, a, there's only a, a handful around. So, and then underneath here, you have this STI that, you know, I've been holding on to for a long time. You see STIs everywhere. So, uh, evos you don't see stis you see everywhere so i would have loved to have driven driven this uh you know sapphire around but it's just gonna sit at least until uh i get you know like ify done um that is that is part of the plan i have a couple cars that i really want to do and like i said before i actually had wheels that i actually powder coated and would really go great with sapphire but that's that's for another video you know what i mean like if and when i get this car done completed and like it, it'll drive perfectly fine then i'll put the wheels on and then we can actually like sell this car or do whatever we want with it but for right now it's gonna sit here until like i get some time to actually like figure out uh the downpipe thing like i won't make any more videos on this car until i get that figured out like that is just gonna be a pain a pain a pain 
Uh, and then when I do figure it out, then I will make a video for that. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But um, more on Ivy coming soon. Uh, like I said, clutch, transmission, uh, you know, not rebuild, but reseal, uh, turbo oil, uh, you know, feed line or uh, oil return line. So I got a couple things in the works. So I want to drive those cars. But 10 minute video. Let's get it rocking. If you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Deuces. Thank you.